bought some land on the hill in Havelock North in 1993. Um, the land was quite steep and challenging. It wasn't really suitable for grapes, so we decided to plant olives. Uh, my background was in dietetics, and I've always loved the olive tree, and I've always, to my patients, um, recommended the Mediterranean diet, so I decided to practice what I was preaching and plant some of these beautiful trees. Hundred Barnea trees to begin with, um, just to find out whether or not it was going to be suitable, and the trees loved it there, so we extended uh, a few years later by planting some Manzanillo and some Vidali and they became our table olive varieties um, of preference. We use the Barnea to make our extra virgin olive oil, which is a Barnea Manzanillo blend. The olives for our olive oil all come off Telegraph Hill. We planted approximately 100 trees to begin with, and then suddenly we've got 2,000 at least and down here at the factory which is a purpose-built um, facility for making our table olives we have another 350 trees of three different varieties. I started very much in a small way in fact the first year I had olives I picked them without actually getting off the four-wheeler so you can imagine just uh, how little we had but by 2001 I had sufficient olives to make um, our first pressing of olive oil which for anybody who has watched the trees, watered them and pruned them is a very exciting event and um, I thought it was just so wonderful. I wanted to take the first press um, immediately to a friend's place but uh, Jeremy advised me that it might put them off for the rest of their lives because of course the oil is so peppery when it first comes out of the olive press. That same year I started to do table olives, um, just a bucket at the back door. I even took them on holiday so that I could change the water, and which was uh, hilarious to everybody concerned. We decided to introduce quite a few other products which involved olives and so far I think the range stretches to about 30 different items. We do drizzles and balsamic drizzle, cabernet drizzle, which is got, uh, made from a Hawke's Bay red wine. And also we do lots of tapenades and relishes and chutney. Also in Hawke's Bay have real food, real wine and real people.